this is like the third time I've said a barbecue. But yeah, well, you've said different times of the barbecue. That's so I feel true. Like that's like there's different times, of, and, that, and that's a key. There that's are a different key types of barbecues. That's a key distinction. I think know? part of it is also because we had no summer, and I'm like a barbecue yeah, would have been just, so I just cool. Need a barbecue. <laughs> like I just need any instance yeah. of cool. I'm Danielle and I'm Del and this is the black catch-up where we're catching up on iconic black media we missed out on in our more conservative religious childhood <laughs> So this week we listened to Public, Public Enemy. Enemy and we listened to It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. Yes. Yeah, quite the title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to read the first few sentences off the Wikipedia. Um, so It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back is the second studio album by American hip hop group Public Enemy mm -hmm. and it was released on June 28th, 1988. The group set out to make the hip hop equivalent of Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, an album noted for its strong social commentary. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. I didn't know this was their second album. I thought this was their, their debut album. But I didn't really look it up or anything. So. Once you listen to it, you kind of realize it's not their first album. Yeah, yeah. Probably not. So, um, all right. You want to start off with things you things you liked about the album? Sure. Um, I will say I have two favorite songs. Okay. I did Cold Lampin with Flavor and um, Louder Than a Bomb. Yeah, okay. Um, I just like Louder Than a Bomb. Mostly, it went off politically, like most of the album yeah. songs did. But I think this one had my favorite beat and the best flow to me. Okay. I really liked it. Because it was a bit more fast-paced than... Yeah. Because I feel as though this style of hip-hop is very almost, like, leisurely, mm -hmm. if that's even the right word. Yeah. Where it's, like, like effortless leisure and you're like, eh, I'm flowing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I had Cold Lampin' with Flavor as my favorite song, oh. like, by far. And, like, <laughs> I replayed that song right after it came on, and, like, by the end of it, I was just laughing. Like, uh, I thought that was a really good song, but, um, yeah, I think I think that was the only, like, specific song I had written down. Mm -hmm. I did overall like Chuck D. Like, I thought his, like, cadence was just very, like you said, like, not really... Like, it was just very effortless and yeah. kind of, like, very just consistent. He kind of just, like, flowed very, like nicely over the beat it was a little yeah. like weird to get used to at first but like you know a couple songs Once in a couple do. lines in it's like okay like I said, he's just not gonna stop you know like yeah. he doesn't really give you time to breathe but you kind of get used to it yeah. and i, I kind of liked it so i feel like so that cadence. went off most and louder than a bump just because that one was faster to me yeah yeah you kind of really get to feel the there were definitely a couple stronger. songs where like you could definitely t uh like really hear his cadence um yeah I actually didn't write down too many of them, but like there, there right. were like the songs, yeah, but the songs he was like really rapping. There were a lot of songs where like he wasn't really rapping per, like as hard, mm -hmm. I guess, or like he was just kind of like talking, almost like vocally just riffing over, yeah. the, over the beat, you know, but um, the, when style. he was rapping, like I definitely did like his cadence Very and flow. Cool. Um, the other thing I said was I liked the political message of most of these songs. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be like, I hated the political message being a black person. Yeah. And the message is like, the police are, like will shoot you and all yeah, that stuff. And yeah. it's like, how can you be against that? But yeah, yeah. I just liked it. And I like how um, bold it was for the time. They made a mm -hmm. lot of references to the fact that, oh, they're probably not going to play us. They call us public enemy number one, yeah, yeah. as is their name. But yeah, I just liked it. It was all very poignant and very good. Okay. And I feel as though it was very timeless because... Yeah. Not much has changed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The message was definitely timeless. Yes. Um, the last thing I had, I really just liked um, kind of like the chemistry between the three of I, I don't know if it was just three of them, but specifically uh, Chuck D, Flavor Flav, and um, Terminator X the DJ. I didn't know this is where Flavor Flav was from. I didn't either. Because it, it, it just it just seems as if Flavor Flav is a character that just exists and you don't know where he came from. Yeah. Nice to know that this is where. Yeah. No, like, like his I origin either, story. You know. But um, yeah, the what was it? Cold lamping with flavor. I don't even know yeah. what that means, but I love that song. I, really I love liked that it song. Too. But um, yeah, what was I talking about here? Um, mm -hmm. what was I talking about? Um, <laughs> you like the chemistry? Oh yeah, yeah, the chemistry. <laughs> the chemistry <laughs> between Chuck D, Flavor Flav, and Terminator X. Like, I thought they all just played off each other well. Like Chuck D was kind of the main, I guess, rapper. Yeah. But, you know, Flavor Flav kind of had the ad libs, had his moments to shine. And then Terminator X kind of did his thing on the DJ yeah. with like the scratching, the mixing, things like that. Yeah. So um, there was one song I don't even remember which one, but it like literally scared me 
Because I thought that oh. my thing was broken. Oh, yeah, it was like the second or third song. Yeah. No, I, re I, re I rewound that. I, I was, was like, like what? what? I was like, oh, I guess I went too far from my phone. I didn't even move. I was sitting at my desk I the know, whole time. I know, it was one of those like, things where it's like, is my Bluetooth messed yeah, up? Like, what yeah. happens? And it's like, it's not even like I'm listening to a CD, so that didn't yeah, really yeah. scratch or anything. But that took me off guard for a no, sec. No, that caught me very off guard. But once I like realized, oh. I was like, the oh, future, they're doing something. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I thought, I thought it was all right, you know? Yeah. And I think actually, that was another thing I kind of liked. The mm -hmm. first, like, three or four songs seemed to kind of introduce everyone yeah. in a way. You know, you had the they first did. song that was, I think, just like a standard intro. Then I think you had the one with all three of them, Bring the Noise. Then I want to say Chuck D just raps over one. Then you have yeah. Lamp, Cold Lampin' with Flavor Flav. And, uh, like, a... Bring the Terminator. It's Terminator X, some, some Terminator X song. Yeah, because it was, like, because I think that one started, that's like, the one that who's our DJ? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, D DJ? Yeah. But I'm Okay. You want to get into, or do you have anything else you liked? Uh, no, that was all my likes. Okay, yeah. Um, the one other thing I liked, I just liked how there were, like, so many different sounds on this. Like, a lot of different instruments, a lot of different, like, samples, just a lot of different sounds. So, yeah. I, it was, like, it definitely, like, stayed fresh. You speak of samples, and if you look on the Wikipedia, yeah. um, every single song, it's, like, they have a sampled list. Yeah, exactly. And it's, like, exactly. you go down and you can see all the songs they sampled. I actually didn't look at that part, but I just saw, yeah. and I was like, oh, so I think that's where like DJ Terminator X kind of Yeah, I knew shined. it would bum me out though if I looked at that because I was like, I'm not going to know any of this. No, no, I, I had no chance. No I chance. was like, let me not <laughs> set I myself up. I didn't even up. try. I didn't even try. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should see what these samples are. I'm like, I'm not going to know any of them. I'm not going to know any of them. I know none of them. All, All right. right. But um, dislikes, dislikes. Dislikes. Um, yeah, um, for me, I didn't, there wasn't too many like specific things I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I will say, I don't know if this was, like, necessarily the style of music I usually listen to. Like you said, it was, like, a very different version of hip-hop. Very, yeah. almost, like, spacey. A little, like, less less words in it, I guess. And, there um, were a lot of... It was just, like, leisurely. Yeah, it just felt very leisurely. And it, that's not really the style of music I normally listen to. Yeah. At least the hip-hop I usually listen to. And there were also periods where I thought it got very, like, rocky. Like, just very, like, almost, like heavy metal mm -hmm. or not heavy metal but maybe just like metal rock type yeah and um well i don't mind a, a rock song i just wasn't expecting it and yeah i don't know like it just i guess it kind of did help in that whole um the vibe of this album you know being yeah. a public enemy rock's kind of always been one of those genres of music that always kind of seems to be for the rebel yeah. you know so i did like appreciate it in that sense but um yeah just again not really the kind of music i would like go to to listen to honestly same um, I do have two specific songs that okay. I had, like, a slight problem with. Okay. Well, one of them was a slight problem. One of them was a problem. Yeah. So the one I had a problem with was she watched Channel Zero. Because <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I just didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was like, she no, watched no, no. Channel Zero. That you know why show. I got this? You know why I got this? Because the second listen through to the album, I was on Genius looking at all the lyrics because yeah, I yeah. felt as I was missing everything. So I was, like, watch. I was, like, looking at the lyrics and listening, and I was like, what the heck you took time out of your political commentary to talk about women and like how they like things like soap operas i was like what the oh, hell okay yeah i had no idea uh, what that but meant. channel yeah. i even was like channel zero is the staticky one we don't yeah. get that now because it's like 2020 so it's like is it that it's not a channel channel zero is not really a channel it's just like static That's static screen? and okay. it's like sort of the thing where it's like they're kind of brainwashed and like mind numb oh, or something okay, like that yeah. and then there was a line about how like you should be watching the kids or something like that that you're more concerned with your soap operas and tv and i was like oh, okay literally yeah. what the hell yeah i was like you took time out of your busy schedule i guess to go shit <laughs> yeah, on women yeah. thanks I was just but, like channel zero. Oh my, but yeah, and it was like, insult? and you it's know, that constant so. thing of people equating things that women like to being frivolous, shallow, and unimportant. And okay. I never liked that. Okay. And the song that I had a slight problem with, but this is just a me thing, which was "Party for Your Right to Fight." Mm. When I don't know which two of them were singing at the same time, but as it wasn't quite in sync, so they weren't in unison, and I didn't like that. Oh. <laughs> it is such a me thing. It's yeah. like I understood they were doing something with it. I understood they were that was their style and everything. But it's just that slight thing where it's like almost as though when the audio is like not synced up with lips when you watch TV or something like that. It was just that slight annoyance where I was like, yeah. I don't like that they're not in unison. Maybe we shouldn't complain about audio. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, our audio is at least synced to our mouths. Yeah, that, that's true. That's true. <laughs> but um, okay. Um, I think that's all I had. No, that was all I had. Yeah, that's all I had. Um, 
next is ratings, right? Yes, ratings. Okay, ratings. Um, you want to start or? Uh, sure. Um, I gave them a three and a half out of five. And I think the reason was because I wish I knew more about them mm -hmm. because they make a lot of references to their like public image and the fact that they like sample beats and people are like mad at them for that. And like, I doubt she'll play us on the radio and all this other stuff. And when I was looking at the genius lyrics, there were like little bits of that, but I tried not to look at the um, actual meaning of lyrics yeah, too much. Yeah. I tried to just like say, oh, I want to know what words you're saying. But it just made me wish I knew more about, it made me want to like dig deeper into them mm -hmm. as a group because they have a very strong political message they want to say. And I do understand their political message, but I'm like, I want to know why, like a bit more about them themselves. But also, um, I think because I didn't know them as well, I didn't feel as much when mm -hmm. I listened to the album and I wanted to feel more. Like... I didn't feel any like strong emotions and I kind of wanted to feel a strong emotion from people called public enemy. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, for me, this one was a three. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was good. I had like a lot of fun listening to it again. It's just not really like up my alley. So I don't, or I don't know if it's like up my alley is the right word, but it's just not something I like really, that really resonated with me, you yeah, know, in terms of like sound. Um, it, I did like appreciate it for like, I guess the musical quality, like yeah, again, like just a lot of, and again, like a lot of good rap flows, a lot of good cadences, a lot of good samples, a lot of good mixing. Like I appreciated that aspect of it and like the creativity in that aspect, as well as the message. You know, I do like it when people, you know, take time to take their art and try to push for it, put, put forth a me message yeah. and, you know, pay attention to what that message is. So I always do appreciate that as well. But um, yeah, this one was a, a three for me. Right. <laughs> so final question: um, Where where are you playing it? Is that that's what yeah? We're I think that's now? what we're saying. Okay. Like, where would this song be played, or All this right. album be played? All right. Um, I guess I'll go first. I had kind of a weird one from the for this one, and okay. it's gonna seem like it's a reflection on the album, but it's not. Okay. I thought this would be good if you were just in a room painting it, like painting a room. Oh, <laughs> like empty room, just yeah, painting just the you walls, painting? Okay. you know, but like no, no pressure though. Like maybe you want to start, change a different color. You can just change it, you know, while you're listening to this album. So I just imagined myself in a room painting it. Like maybe, maybe there was a canvas in the room. I don't know, but I'm just imagining empty room, paint around, walls around, paint going on walls. <laughs> 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 like, not paint drawing though like it's not, oh, paint, not drawing, paint drawing but like painting you're like you're, you're having fun yeah. painting like you can kind of vibe with the the rhythms the beats the cadences that makes sense. so I, I don't know i just feel like it'd, it'd make not necessarily painting in general i was trying to think of like sort of like a mundane chore kind of thing yeah that you can kind of just have playing that'll just make that that activity more exciting you know and, no and painting lie. the room I was, was kind, kind of, of what like, i came up with no so. lie i was listening to this while i was like putting sweaters away yeah, see, like, I was thinking laundry, too. I was like, laundry, but laundry's, like, ugh, laundry's a little too active for me. Like, <laughs> folding clothes painting. is a little too much work, but All painting, right. I'm like, I can see myself just kind of, you know, rolling paint on a wall. All right. I had two places where I think this would be played. Um, one is, like, an obvious montage. Mm. Like, um, in your film, I want to say Spike Lee uses Oh, yeah, them I was going to say, it in, felt like a Spike Lee film. Yeah, like, to you it. could totally put this in any Spike Lee film, oh, yeah. or any, like, film that's more politically charged, and you can see mm -hmm. people, like, listening to this while, like, people are lining up to vote, or, like, passing out flyers, yeah. or something like that. That was, like, the obvious one. Did, did Radio Raheem listen to this in, um... I don't think he listened, I don't know if he listened to this Either specific right, one, but I want to, yeah. yeah. But okay. I think he listened to Public Enemy, but I don't okay, know if he yeah, listened to yeah. this specific. Oh well, yeah, no, yeah, one. Public Enemy, yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, but the second place I had was this is the more specific one where you're at a barbecue with your dad's side of the family, and you play this right before the kids leave, like because we already talked about how there are some songs that you can like see vibing with like the mm -hmm. older kids. But, like, the younger kids have already gone home. This is right before the younger kids leave, before you transition to those, like, more hardcore songs. Yeah. And the reason is because this isn't, they weren't very vulgar. No. In yeah. here, they weren't very vulgar. And it, like, vibes good enough that, like, the kids could still enjoy it. They might miss some of, like, the bigger messages. But they can still vibe to it. And it kind of, like, transitions you to, like, the more hardcore stuff that you'll play once the kids leave. Okay, all right. So, yeah, that was my really specific place. Right, I so think you're that this in a barbecue, like... I'm painting a room. <laughs> I'm doing the thing. <laughs> both vibey things. Yeah, very, very. very like, you though. vary in the zone in both of these, yeah. with these circumstances. So, yeah, that was that was public enemy. It, it'll take a million of us to bring us down. Or it takes take a, a nation of millions to hold us back. 
Yeah, something like that. Yes. But, um, all right, YouTube housekeeping, um, like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you have any more music suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. We do music and TV on Sundays, and on Tuesdays and Fridays, we do movies. All of our socials will be linked in the description down below, and we'll see you next time to catch up. Bye. <laughs>